When I was little, I always wondered what calculus was. Nobody could really quite give me a straight answer, and it took me well into uh, latter stages of high school before I actually had any clue what it was. I always knew it was math, of course, but I never knew what it did or what it was used for or anything like that. So I thought I'd make a video for the newbies and uh, just kind of generally explain what calculus is without actually getting into the math of it. So calculus is, at the core of it, an operator. And operators are just things that do things to numbers. So when you were in elementary school, you started with your plus and minus, then you went on to multiplication and division. High school, maybe you did exponentials and logs. Uh, calculus, you have derivatives and integrals, and they're the same kind of thing. You'll notice here that uh, these are all, they come in pairs. So minus is the opposite of plus. Uh, division is the opposite of multiplication, while integrals are the opposite of derivatives. They're sometimes even called antiderivatives. And what do they do? Well, sometimes in physics, you'll have a graph of something like this. Let's say this is position. So we've tracked the position of an object and we've graphed, we've graphed it here. In this case, this would be time and this would be distance. Now, if you wanted to find the speed of that object at any one time, you would have to find the slope of the tangent line at that point. Now, the old way of doing it would be to draw a tangent line on it like I have here, and then you would just measure the slope of this line to figure out how fast it's going. With calculus, you can take the equation for this blue line, which we call y here. If you take the derivative of that, it'll spit out another equation we call y prime. And what you can do with y prime is take any point on this line. Let's say we want x1. Let's say x1 is 2. You would take 2, put it into your y prime equation, and it would give you the slope of this tangent line at that point. So you can do that for x2. You could do that for any point along this line. It's very, very handy. and It's a lot easier than uh, drawing out tangent lines and trying to measure it that way. It's also a lot more accurate. It gives you a perfectly exact algebraic answer. The integral, or antiderivative, so in this case, our blue line here is the y prime. So let's say this is the velocity and we want to know how far our object went. So you would have to find the area under the graph and that would give you, that would give you displacement. So you take your integral and it will spit out a new equation for y. And what we do with the integrals is typically we'll integrate over an interval. So you'd actually have to put both of these numbers into the equation here. And what it would do is give you the exact area under here. Now, of course, you could just draw a little grid in here, add up all the little rectangles, find the area that way. But let's say you're building a rocket ship or something. You kind of want to be accurate. You want to know if you're going to hit the moon or not. So uh, yeah, calculus here is very good at giving you perfectly exact answers with n almost no error. Well, zero error if you're doing it by hand. If you're using it on a computer, there will be slight errors, but it's a lot more accurate than drawing little rectangles out. So that's what calculus is. That's what it's used for. Like I said, I'm not going to get into the actual math of it. If you would like to know more about it, check out my other videos on this channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.